Hello, and welcome to the Reclaim Your Life show. Here's your host, Master Hypnotherapist and Coach, Jan Haldane. Hello and welcome, I'm Jan Haldane, Master Hypnotherapist and Coach, and this is episode 12 of the Reclaim Your Life show. And in this episode, I want to talk about the Relationship Bill of Rights. Now, if you think about it, when we go into a job, we have rights and responsibilities and a procedure to follow if we have a grievance with our workplace. And of course, as we know, as we go through life, not all workplaces are a good fit for us. But, you know, if it's a job, we can resign and move on to a workplace culture that fits us better. However, in personal relationships, people have their own agendas and expectations about the culture of the relationship, which mostly go unspoken. And particularly if you're in a relationship with a narcissist, a toxic, difficult, a controlling person or a high conflict person, however you want to language it. You can be very, very clear in communicating your desires and expectations for the relationship. But the narcissist, let's just call them, use the label narcissist, um, they won't be. Now they might, you know, make all the right noises. So they might you know, spy the nod when you're telling them about your hopes and dreams and goals for the relationship. But this is actually their false self doing the nodding. Underneath this, their real self is silently fuming and laughing at you because they're going to condition you down to having no rights in the relationship. Real love is about respect, not power and control. And in this episode, we look at your rights in any relationship. And the great thing is that these are not negotiable and you get to pick them. So I've compiled a list here which you can find on my blog and my blog is on my website janhaldane.com So feel free to add or subtract from this list until you come up with a personal relationship bill of rights. This is what you deserve and if you're not getting it your relationship is out of kilter with your values which is upsetting to say the very least. Now maybe you're currently dating and if you are, this is a fantastic opportunity to get clear on what you want from a relationship. Of course, remember that you must be willing to accord the same respect to your date or partner. So let's have a look at some potential things for your list. The right to live free from criticism and judgment. The right to live free from accusation and blame. The right to live free from emotional and physical threat the right to goodwill from your partner, the right to be free from angry outbursts and rage, the right to privacy, both online and offline, the right to say no at any time, even if you've said yes before, the right to be treated with dignity and respect, the right to follow your own values and standards, the right to experience and express your feelings, the right to change your mind and to make mistakes. The right to be yourself and to feel good about being yourself. The right to end the relationship. The, re the right to make decisions about your sexual and reproductive health. And the right to make other health decisions according to your own beliefs and values. The right to spend quality time with friends and family and the right to do things that feel right to you, not because someone else tells you to do it. So I really, really want you to have a good think, and if a few or none of these rights are available to you in your current relationships, and you can't imagine they ever would be, please think carefully about whether this relationship is honouring you or gradually wearing away at you on all levels of your health. Just know that you deserve better. So I hope you enjoy doing this exercise and I look forward to sharing again with you on the next episode of the Reclaim Your Life show. Bye for now. Thanks for listening. Catch you on the next episode of the Reclaim Your Life show.